What's up, YouTube? Today we're going to be doing a solo rare schematic run. We're going to be showing you guys the best, my favorite way to do this. Um, so let's just hop right into it, yeah? So we're going to be looking for an escort right away. I don't know if these guys are going to take it. We'll see. Let's see if I can't jump in here. Yeah, wow, that was a perfect, perfect little jump. So we'll fly over to this escort. We're going to be doing the escort first because it's the fastest way to get the rare meat so that we can get the tier 3 dog. We're gonna be going escort first. Go into your go into your match. Grab an escort. We're gonna run over to it. We don't even need to finish this contract. We're just trying to get meat out of it. So yeah, we just kind of hop on this thing. Look every once in a while, maybe some zombies. It'll normally run over zombies, and zombies will drop it pretty fast. I think someone else is doing one right now too. So maybe we might even get some from them. Oh, look, would you look at that? We got a turret right away. All right, we need to hit some more zombies. Hopefully they drop some. Some meat. Give me the meat. All right. Come on now, boys. Oh, there we go. Chunk of meat. Bang. There's another one. We got two. Any more? Any more? Kind of just throw your explosives. Hopefully it drops some. Almost just died again. You know me. No big deal. Boom. There we go. Chunk of meat. All right. Now we're out of here, bro. Get us out of here. So now we're going to drive over to this high rise because this high rise building normally has a ton of high level loot. And uh, so this is going to be helpful if you have like a brand new operator that you don't have a rucksack or an armor vest or, you know, or self res or any perks or anything. You don't really need any perks other than really stamina up when you're in tier three. And then also we want to be looking for these rare turret circuits while we're at this, uh, while we're at this high rise because they drop a lot of turret circuits and this is going to be easy to get those high level uh, bounties out of the way and to get some cash and, and bounties uh, so that we can get our juggernauts. We'll loot up this building, this big high rise over here, and then we'll get out. We're gonna loot the bottom area of this whole place quick because they normally have like a good amount of loot, like decent amount of these big chests that you can grab. A couple of these Johns, grab some decoys. Run around the back here. Hopefully find a rucksack. I don't really have any room with all this meat. Run back around this side real fast. Like, there's a ton of these purple crystal boxes for you guys to loot. This is also probably a pretty good strat. There's another, there's a turret circuit right there. So we got two turrets already. We can honestly just dip right now. We don't even need to loot, but we'll just keep looking quick. Oh, miss this guy. Wow, would you look at that? A gas mask and another turret. So I can't hold that, unfortunately. Not yet. We could come back down to that if we get another rucksack. So let's run up to the top. Like, that was just the bottom floor. There's even more up here. So you can easily get a ton of loot before you before you go in, and your solo missions are going to be super easy, especially with this dog that we're going to get here, this Tier 3 dog. Okay, we'll just run through here. Normally there's some pretty good loot up here too. We're looking for a rucksack and then more turrets. Two-plate armor vest. There we go. Don't really need that. Large rucksack, there it is. There's the large rucksack. Like, we are pretty much kitted at this point for what we need. And we upgraded our operator a bit, too, this brand new operator. That's pretty much it. Like, look at that. We got all the stuff we really need, and we're ready to go. And then you can just hop right off here. I want to go to this one, though. Hop right off here, and then just kind of glitch through this guy. And boom, we're back up, and we're going to jump right into Tier 3, and we're going to go get our dog. So, yeah. It's super fast, super easy. It works a lot, uh, really nice with two player too. Uh, and then the dog is like right next to the Wonder Fizz, right on this little thing here. So you're just gonna fly in to the Wonder Fizz, you're gonna grab the dog, and then you basically have an infinite revive, um, which is super nice. And then we'll just go right into bounties or escorts. Uh, you can just do one of the two, doesn't really matter which one you do. So we'll do this guy. Bang, bang, bang. There's our doggy. Bang. Absolute. Oh. Give me something that I can run. Another turret and a three plate. Bang. First thing we went into. Easy cash. Bang, 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 bang. All right. So now we're just going to find this bounty, which is over here. And we're just going to use a turret on him. I found this is a super easy way to just level up your operator real fast and then run in. 
Uh, if you if you already have an upgraded operator, you can kind of just get the meat from the escort and then just jump right on in to just start doing quests in the third in the third zone. But if you want the turret pieces, I would recommend going to the high rise because that thing is just insane, bro. Like look at this. We'll just toss that boy right in. Oh, toss that boy right in and let him do the work. Just like that. He should kill this thing pretty fast. And we got three of these things, bro. From the from the high rise. So let's see how fast this thing dies. Boom! There it is. First one down. Gives us a ton of essence and a self res, and we got PhD. Okay, take it. And a refined Ethereum crystal. Okay, some good stuff. And a jug! Okay, well, we just can skip the turret part, I guess. But we might as well use the turrets that we got. And our pooch is still alive. This dude's just going to res us if we go down like a beast. Okay, sweet. So now we need to find another another bounty right there. And then we just kind of just keep repeating the process. Um, same kind of stuff. We already skipped a step because we needed 10k to get a jug. And we got one off the mega. So we could keep doing that. We could we could do the uh, the jug strat right away, or we could use turrets if there's turrets nearby because we still have two of those left. But yeah, that's basically the strat. We'll do a couple more of these, see if we can get like the Reagan schematic or something for you guys. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, we can kind of run up these things. These things are pretty good for getting away from zombies too. Just fly over to our next boy. We also got decoys out of that, so if you, uh, from going to the high rise, so if you don't have decoys unlocked, that's another way to get decoys really fast to go into the tier 3 zone in solo, so that you kind of have monkey bombs and you're kind of not screwed. Um, so yeah, we'll do this, pull it out, then you just drop it. Oh no, they patched it. Damn, okay. So there used to be a way that you could just drop it when you had it out. And then it would duplicate your jug, but that doesn't work anymore. So, I mean, doing this, though, the turrets is pretty solid. Um, and then, obviously, we can just throw this down here. Oh, okay. Let's just get destroyed by this guy. Every 10k points you get, you can just keep buying another jug. So it's not completely useless. Oh, my dog. No, don't, don't get the poochie. Oh, ray gun. Oh, it's not the schematic though. Yeah, so now we got 10k. We got enough for another one. Um, but you know, we don't really need to do that yet because we still have some turrets. Unfortunately, the duplication trick doesn't work, which makes sense. Obviously, they uh, they patch that. But yeah, but we still have two turrets from from looting that whole high rise. So that's honestly probably the best way now. Uh, to start it off before you get 10k so you don't have to spend a ton of time in tier one and tier two zones uh getting money for a juggernaut right away and i mean you can pack if you really want to like i don't think it's really worth it if you're just running schematics but yeah just let the turret rip we got another jug next time and then if we do one more Mega abomination. Give us some napalm ammo mod that we don't need. And dude, he gave us another jug. No way. So we got two out of that. So maybe the megas just drop jugs more now since you can't do the. That's crazy. I think our dog's dead, but you know, you don't really need it once you kind of get some cash going. Once you get the cash flow going, but it's really nice to have that dog right when you first come in. Because if you really screw up on one of them, then. And you have that insurance policy. Oh, there's my boy, my poochie. He's back. No way. So, yeah, that's going to be the end of the strategy, pretty much. You're just going to keep doing the same thing. Uh, try it. Maybe you can go loot for some more turrets in the, in the Tier 3 zone and do some escort missions. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Make sure to leave a like. Tell me if you like the game or not in the comment section because I'm actually enjoying it a lot more than I thought I would. Didn't have a very high expectation of the game coming into it, but... I've been enjoying it, having a good time. More content will be coming to the channel soon, so make sure you don't miss out on that. Follow and hit the bell, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Yeah? All right. Peace out. Yeah.